world. Okay, let's try and see if we can speed this up. Sorry, I've been doing this multiple times and it ended up like a 45 minute long video and I want to try to get this down quick. I don't want it to be that long because I know no one wants to watch this kind of videos. So I finally decided I am done with it. I've uh, wanted this video for a while now, but finally I want to do it because I've been seeing other people doing videos of why they're finally just sick of it. And I want to give my opinion of why I am just done with Xbox Live um, and why I'm leaving. Um, I'll still be playing on Windows 10 for like Halo and Gears of War, but I am just overall just done with Xbox. I'm done with all their nonsense, so I am no longer buying gold. I am no longer uh, buying from them anymore uh, because they've clearly shown that they have no care anymore uh, about their Xbox Live services entirely. And this has nothing to do with exclusives. Um, I was already playing on PC when I was just streaming it from my Xbox app. Um, console uh, has been nothing more to me at this point other than an entertainment system for family and friends versus PCs more personalized when I want to play with uh, just play uh, by myself uh, watch movies and all that nonsense and it's just more uh, easier to stream and make YouTube videos so uh, it has nothing to do with the exclusivities being gone that's not why I would have left I would have still played Xbox even without the exclusives because there was still things I used it for but unfortunately it's gone to the point where now I have no use for it other than it's just gonna be just that entertainment system and I'm not gonna buy games anymore on it other than the backwards compatibility games that I can still at least play on it that's it. Other than that, I am not uh, in any way having any other reason to play anymore. Um, and uh, these are the three reasons why I am just done with Xbox Live. I am done with them entirely. Uh, I am getting terrible Xbox Live support. I have... I'm so done with the abuse of the reputation system. And third, I am done with the hardware advantages. I'm going to go through these from the ones that are quick to cover, that are very simple, to ones that are more lengthy I need to get into. So starting off with the first thing I'm really sick and tired of is the hardware advantages. Back in the day when you got an Xbox Live or uh, Xbox Original, and you played on Xbox Live, you knew everyone had the same setup. You Everyone had the exact same stuff, the same exact hardware, controller, and console alike. They both were the same. You never had to worry about anyone having a better advantage, and if anyone did end up having a better advantage, they would usually get caught and get banned for it. So uh, you felt like whenever you played with someone uh, and you were playing competitively, that you knew that you were playing with the same exact hardware that they were playing with, and the only difference was between the hand and eye coordination. That was what really separated uh, you from the other player that was the real thing that told whether or not you were good or not not whether or not you had a better controller but as time went on and we get to the Xbox one era we have Xbox elite controllers with special buttons that give you special extra features and then you have now the, the ability to play with keyboards why if I can play with a keyboard would I ever want to play on Xbox if I could play with a keyboard already I would rather play on a PC because unfortunately it's not it's not that I think that uh, keyboard and mouse have advantages I know the uh, advantages uh, and disadvantages of a keyboard um, it's just the fact that if you're having this much variety and choice um, it's not about the player anymore being good at playing that specific way it's they can play however they want and that may give them a little too much of an advantage if they can have special extra buttons and features and stuff that the other person does not does not have that ability to press that's just not really fair to have those different advantages um, and why would I want that if I want to play a keyboard and mouse I could play on PC um, so I just I see no advantage of playing on an Xbox with a keyboard there just seems to be no no reason why that should even exist uh, if I and again if they want to do that they want to do that but I just I see no reason why I should have to be forced to bear that if I can just if I'm if everyone's gonna get low advantages and better cabling and all this nonsense and make it so that they have way better uh, controls than others and be so much more customizable why in the world would I want to stick with a PC I like the fact that uh, or not stick with PC stick with console because with console uh, uh, it was always that you knew everyone had the same setup. So if I if everyone's gonna be all customizable, why do that? If everyone can be all customizable, why stick with a console? I'd rather play on PC then. That's why I'm just done with that. Uh, that's just hardware advantages that are not fair. Then uh, let's go to the next one here in the abuse of the reputation system. The uh, 
people started abusing the reputation system to make it so that people have much more terrible matchmaking experiences this is really ridiculous back in the day uh, in the xbox live original um it apparently existed but i never saw it really get used that much um but now it gets really abused to hell and now people like in these xbox live groups that i'm in they would joke about it and share around like people that reported them for all these nonsensical things like people getting reported for their gamer tag you look at the gamer tag there's nothing wrong with it but people just reported just for the sake of reporting it because um of things i'm going to go down here for but basically some of these things if they damage your reputation you get longer matchmaking search times uh sometimes even getting banned for nothing that you did wrong because the entire system has now been um, modified and automated to the point of herd mentality meaning if a number of people report you for something it must be true even that's that's what it thinks now uh, uh, that's what it thinks now when it comes to reporting that um if the a majority of people reported you and they supposedly were all in a match together with you, that it's supposedly true. So what happens is you have situations where clans go around and they know that they can abuse the system because if they play with everyone and they go, oh, hey, everyone report this one person. Um, he beat us really badly. Well, guess what? If they all report you, it ends up affecting your reputation and you get punished for it. And if they do stuff like this too often, they can get you banned. And unfortunately, in games where they have clans, that's what's really... Un that's unfortunately one of the most annoying things uh, you can go six months not get a single report on your account and if you decide to pop in some halo 3 um or not halo 3 even halo 5 uh which is what happened to me did play for six months popped on played halo 3 and or not halo, i keep saying halo 3 halo 5 won one match one match top player mvp check my reputation three reports of cheating they were so mad about me winning that they all reported me this is ridiculous i went from a perfect you know reputation to immediately three reports of uh um ch you know cheating and whatnot and that's just that irritated the hell out of me because as i kept building up again i my searches got longer to deal with and this is ridiculous uh, how much people abuse it and again enforcement is completely automated Back in the day, you could speak to someone with enforcement or you'd have to go through uh, support to talk to someone where they'd eventually get you to enforcement and you could actually talk to them. Now, you cannot talk to them. It's almost completely automated. Very, Even though they'll say that, oh, yes, we look at every case, case by case basis. I, I totally do not believe that one bit because of the experiences that I have had that make me believe that's a bunch of BS. Um, they, when it comes down to like things like uh, text messages, it's all automated. They, they have a little thing that scans through and looks through and tries to find anything. And if they don't find anything, then probably someone uh, goes in and actually maybe looks at it. But everything's all automated now. They go, oh, we found a word that they weren't supposed to say. Oh, they're going to get banned. That's how it pretty much works. Um, that's how they do it. They scan messages for violations and whatnot. They don't read your reports anymore. The only way, like, like they would tell me now, like, oh, the only way if you want to, you know, talk to enforcement is you need to go to the enforcement app. And I would sit here and have this little discussion with these people because I've been through so many times and I just want to see how much they're going to BS me. Um, where I go, okay, I'm on the website right now. They, they, they would try to quickly cut me off the phone and say, okay, well, you have to take that over to enforcement. Okay, I'm on the enforcement website. Where do I find that? And I'd make him sit there and I made uh, in a, a supervisor sit there and walk me through it and because he was trying to say oh you can have a, a conversation with him no you cannot you can only the one time you can only can communicate with xbox uh enforcement now is through the uh reporting system when you get reported and you have to apply for an appeal so the only way you can talk to enforcement is you have to get banned first and then you get a one-time opportunity to say everything you have to say and hope that they actually listen and if they don't decide to listen uh and say eh, never mind they can just you know write a whole page essay and they just go still upheld they still upheld uh, your decision to be banned even if you wrote a really long lengthy message about what happened and I'll, i'm going to describe what happened here uh later but basically they just don't care anymore they, they talk about how they, they read your uh, thing but no they don't they don't read it they just take one little glance at it and less than five ten minutes later i got a response back saying they upheld the decision uh, after I wrote a whole essay and they were still able to say nope uh, we upheld it there's nothing uh, 
that, that uh, we found everything justified, which it clearly wasn't. Um, but I got banned two times um, over this. But again, you you only get like again one form of communication, and if you get a banned, uh, you have to be banned. And if you uh, you know you put everything in there, you get one shot to you know get a response from them, and they can just say no, we decided to upheld it, uh, pulled it, and you can't have a continuous conversation to discuss this and find out more information. You get a one-time opportunity. Um, and yeah, it's just uh, there's a lot of stuff I could go into on that too. But I'm gonna go into some of the things here. I got banned, I think, two times. One time I got uh, the, this was not part of the bans, but one time I got banned really way far back, and it was actually uh, someone had actually hacked their system, and uh, Xbox had uh, um, you know was open about it, told me about it, uh, that someone had hacked the system and got me banned. But in reality, it's not a legitimate ban, and they undid the uh, changes that were done and they improved the system so that it wouldn't happen again um but this was back on the xbox original now i'm talking about the xbox one where i got banned twice um and it was pretty bs uh one of them is mass reporting clans reporting people because they get frustrated and they put people on a list and they all report them and because the game looks at oh well all these people were in the game with you and they all reported you for unsportsmanlike conduct or they reported you for this or they reported you for that it must mean it's true and of course they somehow managed to report me enough times to get me banned um it was so bs and i i, I reported the entire thing to enforcement thinking that they would actually hear me out they did not hear me out. They upheld the decision still, even after I pointed out how that they were doing this and that they were just sending the message with gamer tags to people that they wanted to get banned. And they were like, nope, uh, we're still going to uphold it. I even had a streamer one time get really frustrated at me uh, in Battlefront 2 when I was owning as Bosk in a, uh, on the map Takadana. And uh, we just happened to be in the same Facebook group. And he uh, – called me out on it i wish i had saved it i don't i can't seem to find how to search it up easier because it's almost impossible on facebook to search things up but he's uh put on there he goes hey uh next time i get on and do my stream i'm gonna put your name on there and have everyone in the group uh, ban you and i'll reward them for doing it and whatnot basically threatening me and i saved the picture and everything i post i was call xbox live they don't care they don't care they're like well you're just gonna have to talk to enf enforcement after you get banned so even though I have a chance to report this person before these actions take place, they just don't care. They don't care that someone threatened that they were going to mass report me. And this stuff, unfortunately, works. Halo MCC, um, for the longest time, people were getting reported for this, and it was affecting their matchmaking and so forth. They eventually got rid of that, and so if you report someone, it only blocks the communication, not uh, the ability to play with them. But it still uh, you know, causes their matchmaking times to exceed to much longer. So I got banned for that. And then another time I got banned, supposedly, I don't I'm sure even whether or not it was i got hacked or not but um they said something on my profile was offensive here's the f uh they said it was either too violent or too sexual well here's the thing i hadn't changed my profile in almost five years or even longer than that i had not changed my profile in a very long time because the what i had on my profile that they're saying was so offensive um uh, originally said and i had not changed it since um was it kind of a joke reference to uh, Halo 2. In Halo 2, there was this uh, line that the Marine says where he goes, uh, keep firing those rockets or keep firing those guns, spend that taxpayer money. And I thought that was pretty funny back then. And so I put on my profile, I go, I don't waste bullets, I fire every shot. Um, and that, that was my uh, little funny little thing I put in my bio. Nothing, you know, controversial there. Well, I'm not sure nowadays what's controversial and offensive because apparently everything is offensive now. But um, that's all I put on my profile. There's nothing saying like any threats or anything like that. But yet apparently something apparently was apparently sexual, I think, uh, that they argue. And that's all I had was one chance to say, I don't know why I was banned. It says this. I don't know why. And they just said, oh, there's something on there that got you banned. And here's the find out. Why not? Apparently it looked like someone had signed into my account on in Washington DC and eight hours after I had gotten off and somehow, you know, obviously they assumed that somehow I went from all the way California to Washington DC, all the way back to California within less than twenty four hours, which obviously that's why I think that it more likely was either someone had hacked my account and put some imp inappropriate information or um 
it's basically that only showed up on there because of an emulator that I was playing and the server was in Washington DC but and they banned me because they finally got offended by a thing I had in my profile for over five years and no one had a problem with it uh, but apparently if I now mention bullet or something in my profile that's now something offensive I don't even know and they won't even be straightforward with me on what it was but because I have no idea they won't tell me what it was they just say well it was just something offensive what was it I can't tell you it's and well it wasn't even that kind of conversation because you only have one chance to put everything down there and they say well we can't really give you the information about why you were banned but uh it was sex uh what it actually said but it was sexual in nature or something like that and i just i knew that that was bs it was either sexual or violent in nature or something like that i wish i could have saved it um but it was kind of bs um because i know that i did not put that on my profile uh anything that, that what they sound like they were describing so, but they just, they don't care. They don't care one bit at all. Um, and I'm just, I'm done with that. Uh, the fact that they don't care. And also that leads me to my next one, terrible Xbox live support. They said that when we paid for this Xbox live support, that we would get better security, Xbox live services, better, uh, support when we call in and, uh, yet it has diminished over time. Uh, before when you called, you re they treated like you treated you like you really cared. Uh, that they cared about you as a customer. That they wanted you to make sure you kept paying your sixty dollars a year. Um, and they talked, uh, you know, a whole bunch of like uh, situations that I would have. I would they would always be there uh, and whatnot. And again, that situation I was going to explain uh, in the past, where uh, apparently someone posed as a uh, somehow hacked the system and pretended to be an ex uh, Microsoft employee um, and banning people, but it only worked because back in the day it was some weird thing where uh, if a uh, game wanted to ban you, um, it would have to go through uh, Microsoft directly in order to ban them. I'm not sure how that worked back in the Xbox original days, but apparently that's how it did it. And when I played someone in Halo 2 that got salty, I guess he put me and a bunch of other people on a list uh, that he's experienced that he played with and just tried to uh, ban everyone. Um, and he, if it, whatever happened, it just like was for a day and then they fixed it the next day. Um, but ever since then, I didn't have any bad experiences, even through Xbox 360, there was maybe like some small instances, but, um, that's just, it wasn't until we got to Xbox one where we started to really see problems. Um, I hear about, you know, more about Xbox being compromised, uh, and also that the services keep going down constantly. There's like several times I wanted to play Xbox live. Can't play services are down. Can't do this. Can't do that. There's always a, a different issue now. Um, and also, um, again, used to always be helpful. Xbox 360 days, um, I started to have to take matters into my own hands because they weren't doing stuff. There's people running scams uh, back in Modern Warfare for two days saying they had JTAG Xboxes and they would give people prestige, but they weren't. And they were basically constantly spamming and it got really irritating and I kept running into the same people sometimes over and over trying to pull this stuff. So eventually I kept reporting. I'm like, they're not doing anything. So I decided to record it, give it to Xbox Live and they finally did something. It, it took them that long because the reputation system had been so abused that now they don't know when to tell when someone is and isn't being truthful because there's so many people that were abusing it even when they tried to put a cry wolf thing so that anyone that abused it would not uh, get as high a reputation of believability over someone else that had uh, a good reputation but unfortunately it just kept getting abused to no extent to the point where you have to actually call them to get that through um, but again you used to call Xbox Live support and you could speak directly to an enforcement person then it changed to, uh, on 360, you had to talk to uh, support first, and then they might uh, send you over to enforcement uh, if they felt like it. Um, but that was about it. Uh, and then um, now it's got to the point where you can't even talk to support. You pay $60 a year, and you can't even talk to support. You have to use a chat window now. So my Xbox is on one side of my room and my computer is on another side of the room and I have to somehow have a conversation back and forth, which is a hassle. As someone who works as an analyst who has to fix technical issues over the phone with a customer, that is not cool at all to do. When we talk to customers, sometimes we have to tell them, uh, like, you know, try. we ask if there's like a phone number we can call on cell phone, make it more convenient for them. But we actually go through that effort. Not with them. No, they won't, uh, they won't do that with you. They want you now to sit on a chat window that they can get back to you whenever they want to and you are at the mercy of them. 
I'm not doing that anymore. That is ridiculous. Um, yeah, they just they won't let me talk to enforcement now. They say, nope, there's no way you can talk to enforcement. And if the only way that you can even talk to them on the phone is if they feel like they want to talk to you. Um, if they don't feel like that they need to, they won't talk to you at all. So no longer can you call 1-800 for my Xbox and actually talk to a real person. They will direct you over to a chat window now if they want to. This is ridiculous. And um, there's just a bunch of instances that I've had. Uh, there's been like good instances and ba uh, bad instances. Sorry, I'm not, uh, a little exhausted right now. Um, but there was times where like they really went out of their way to help me. They really did. They would look into it. They got me a new Xbox uh, when my uh, um, my uh, first Xbox got a red ring of death. Ne didn't have to pay for it. I know that it sucked, but you know I didn't get to pay for it, so I was glad. And another time, they, which is probably why they no longer advertise Xbox standing up, was a situation I had um, where I had my Xbox standing up. I put my disc in, plugged it in. It was Modern Warfare 2. Disc scratched and because of it, because it fell a little bit, and we argued back and forth because they said, no, that's uh, not our fault that if your disc gets scratched, I go, nope, you guys advertise the Xbox standing up. And because you had it standing up, and I did that where you're standing up and putting the disc in it scratched and they go okay and they you know paid for a free one and then they for, ever since then i noticed every advertisement for the xbox 360 back then they always showed it laying down and they no longer showed it standing up um because the thing was it was just a bad design it just the the disc falls from gravity and it gets your disc scratched so they realized that that was a dumb idea and they changed that that was at least you know they acknowledged that stuff i liked when they were honest acknowledged it and did something about it but now that's just slowly died off the last few instances i ever had them ever really give a damn was this lady i don't know what her name was she was really nice she did everything for the xbox one when i had issues with it we went through all this troubleshooting why my hard drives were not being read on the xbox and it eventually came down to i figured out what the reason was and it was because all the ports in my the back of my xbox blew and unfortunately it was one month after my warranty had worn out and either i buy a new one or i had to sh send in for shipping and it was just uh, slightly bit more but you could just buy a whole new Xbox and it would actually be uh, better than have to send it in and the warranty wouldn't have even last that long once I get it back so it wasn't really worth it so I ended up just getting a whole new Xbox another time which was really crazy I called Xbox Live Support during the Xbox One uh, time period now and I actually was able to get speak directly to an enforcement person about a question about uh, what was considered um, exploitive uh, when I asked a question about Battlefront uh, I wanted to get this kind of confusion out of the way I was hoping that someone could answer that and sure enough they said yeah well, actually we this uh, you just happen to luck out we actually have someone here who actually is part of enforcement uh, he probably could answer this question and I described the situation he goes actually that's pretty exploitive in nature and that was the whole Palpatine uh, zapping people through walls and I was just very curious if he could actually answer this because people were you know have all these questions about or uh, keep you know debates on that what I'm going to do later on about videos about what is actually considered exploitive uh, and I actually got a straight up answer from uh, Xbox I like that guy because he actually was straight up forward with me but that's the last time I ever had anyone straight forward with me um all that unfortunately changed i had one instance instance on the xbox 360 that really really uh, i should have done something more about it but i was in college i had no time for myself i was constantly trying to do finals and uh, this situation occurred and uh, there was nothing i could really do about it um i tried you know doing as much as i could with xbox live support to do something about it but they did nothing the reputation system the reporting system did nothing because they found a way around the damn system uh and that was i was being stalked um you know people always like say like they're claiming this stuff but no i actually found i do have some screenshots of it not all of them but this guy was such a stalker um basically i had my, my dad really likes uh playing uh on my xbox 360 he likes playing halo 2 and halo 3 he doesn't like any of the other halo games he doesn't like halo reach or halo 4 or halo 5 he really doesn't like halo 5 so probably all you guys probably like him he's an old-time gamer and he likes playing halo 2 and halo 3 he doesn't probably play anymore but he really loved playing halo 2 and halo 3 he actually enjoyed it um so yeah he he uh he really loved playing Halo. We used to play Halo, me and him, back in the day, and my sister. We'd all play Halo together. Um, and he uh, I guess beat uh 
you know how I did a video on boosters? He beat a booster so bad that that booster never once got a chance to ever get inside the ring and ended up uh, losing really badly. And it, I guess, cost him like three times as long to rank up. And so he got really frustrated about that. And this is weird because this is the time when Halo MCC is out, but yet he was still selling boosted accounts and people were still buying them, uh, buying 50 accounts. And so he was so mad at that that he harassed me for several months. And I had reported this to Xbox Live. They did nothing. And even though they can see my messages, they don't need me to give them anything. They can actually see this themselves. They still decide to waste my time and tell me, hey, okay, here's an email. You're going to need to send us a screenshot of all the messages. I sat there and wasted through and saved a whole bunch of these messages and sent it in, and they did nothing about it. And, I, and again, I can prove that this person was harassing me because what they do is I'd block them. I would block them and they would make uh, they would use another one of their dummy accounts one of their other 50 accounts and send me messages on that and they would keep doing that and they would always put a signature at the bottom of it let me know who he was so the pointing back to the original account and kept sending me messages over and over and would not stop and I asked Xbox Live to do something about this and they at first were very trying to be helpful but then they just completely just did not care anymore um, they did not do anything. They didn't uh, care to help anymore. Straight up just pretty much just told me eventually that, oh, I'm sorry, we've done everything we can. At this point, if you want any more support, you're going to have to contact your uh, contact the local authorities. This was absolutely this ridiculous that they were not willing to help me at all. And I was already dealing with the finals and everything, and I just did not want to have to deal with this. And eventually... Eventually, the guy stopped after, what, like six months of harassment. So when when all these girls talk about, like, when they play Xbox Live, oh, we get harassed, you have not even experienced some of the things I have experienced. I have experienced some ridiculous bullshit from people, um, and Xbox Live did not do anything for me on that. They supposedly claimed that they banned his account, but he just he, – I said he's, he's a booster. He's got multiple accounts, and – they could have just banned his console, but I guess they either they did and didn't want to tell me or they just didn't want to do it. And they said, if you want any more support or anything like that, you're just going to have to contact the local authorities. I go, OK, good. I'll contact the local authorities where he lives. Um, can you tell me where he lives so I can contact the uh, police department in that location? Nope, we can't give you any of that information. So you have no idea where this person is. I have no way of contacting the local authorities of where this person lives. And yet I'm supposed to be expected to find that out. You go, well, you're just going to have to find that out. And you're going to have to contact the local authorities yourself. These people were really just not helpful at all uh, during that. And I kept asking where, what city this person lives in so I can find the local authorities on this because this guy would not stop messaging me. No matter how many times I banned, uh, blocked his account, he would have another account ready to go every time. And it just got really annoying. It just kept doing it for months. It got really to the point of just he would not quit. And um, he made, a, I guess, a living off of this, which is, by the way, illegal on Xbox Terms of Service doing this. But yet Xbox really seemed to not really really care um, and I kept reporting him and reporting him and reporting him and they were just like sorry we can't do anything about it and I kept asking again where is this person at where do I find uh, the local authorities to this uh, like give me the number and I'll call them myself and have them talk to you and they're like uh, nope sorry we won't give you that information so they provided me nothing at all and yet told me at the same time I had to contact the local authorities so I'm sitting there going, how am I supposed to contact the authorities of where this person lives if they won't tell me where this person lives? And I'm supposed to call the, uh, the local authorities of some random police department or contact the FBI about some guy harassing me online and they won't provide me information. And I have to say some guy named such and such uh, is harassing me online basically for and again i wouldn't even really care if it was just a normal like situation but this guy kept it on for six months of harassment and every time you know a week or so passed by and he figured out i blocked his account he'd pop up another account and just message me again and put his little thing there and he let me know he was going to keep messaging me unfortunately i don't have some of the more gruesome ones that he described but he would talk about you know threats against my family i knew that he never actually this guy was just a load of shit but it just got really to the point of really annoying annoying about harassment i asked him to stop completely and he would not quit and he just kept going and going and going and even though i stopped messaging him i had stopped making any communications within like the first week 
of this whole thing starting. He kept going on for six months because he was so butthurt about losing at a simple game. This guy was mentally that messed up in the head. And he kept constantly going and going and going and would not quit harassing me the entire time and would not quit. I didn't know anything else to do at this point. And Xbox Live would not do anything. So I just did not get on Xbox Live at all. I just stopped playing for like three or four months because I could not play because this guy kept messing messaging me and would not quit and it just really pissed me off even thinking about this because xbox live would do nothing to help me they they said the only way they could help uh could help is i had to get in contact with the authorities and that they have to contact xbox live directly and they will give them the information that's what they told me that that's the only way that this would even happen and other than that they would not help me in whatsoever after that even though i had screenshots of it and they had you know said oh wow this is terrible this guy's doing this we're going to try and investigate it and they said they investigated and they said they did all they could and that they can't do any more you mean you can't console ban this person who's harassing me for six months you can't do that nope so i just straight up just stopped getting on xbox live entirely that's how bad they did not really care and I, I've just ever since then I've never liked their support ever since um, there's a lot of other situations I've had I've had where error codes were on my Xbox and before if you had like a situation where you didn't know what was wrong with your Xbox you just kept call uh, you called them and they go oh yeah I know exactly what that problem is I'll get right on it you know I can fix that and they would tell me what to do and we get it done now every time whenever I have a problem with my Xbox I have to just uh, pretty much almost sometimes set my uh, Xbox back the factory default and just reload everything back through an external hard drive because um, the people there don't know shit about how to repair an Xbox um, and yeah I know I'm a little bit frustrated right now because I'll be like what does this error code mean and they go we have no idea look it up online I go you're the guys that work at Xbox Live support you should know what this means and they would say they have no idea and tell me to look it up online or the little Xbox uh, wiki that they have which did not have the error codes and they would not help me at all but if the error code exists clearly someone knows what it is but of course the support does not but that's because the support when I you know smooth talked one of them told me that their support is actually in the Philippines now they no longer actually do any of that that stuff in uh, the US and then and then again this is when they still had the ability to call 1-800 for my Xbox now they direct you over to a chat window and you have to go from the keyboard uh, talking on PC uh, typing to them to the uh, your Xbox and if only if they want to talk to you will they actually send you an actual um, uh, or give you a call on your phone otherwise they will not conversate to you at all and help you one bit whatsoever so I had to take my matters in my own hand to deal with scammers, uh, uh, stalkers dealt, I had to deal with that uh, Microsoft would do nothing to help me whatsoever in helping me get that issue resolved and the guy just eventually finally got tired of harassing me that he finally quit but he kept doing this and again I'll show you screenshots here um, that he put his reputation uh, he put his uh, he was such an egotistical asshole that he put his uh, name at the bottom of all of his messages just to let me know that he was getting uh, at me every single time even after I'd block him not respond to him he would just pop up another one and another one he just would not quit so again hardware advantages abuse of the reputation system and terrible Xbox Live support these three things are the reasons why I am done with Xbox Live I know this is about 30 minutes here I'm sorry I went a little bit over here but these are the three things that finally just pushed me over the edge and now that I can play Halo and Gears of War on PC uh, and I can do it for free I am paying $60 for Xbox Live when I can be playing on PC for free on Windows 10 why am I paying for this anymore the services are always down there's always hacks going on and our systems getting compromised and I'm getting the worst support I have ever had with Xbox Live support I'm paying $60 a year for this no I'm done I've actually discontinued all my gold I'm not gonna have it renewed anymore and I'm just gonna play for free on Windows 10 and the best part is they can't do anything about it because if they try to charge you ten dollars uh, or ch try to charge you uh, any costs uh, sixty dollars a year or anything like that for service on Windows 10 
everyone's going to stay with um, PC or uh, stick with Steam. They're not going to use Windows 10 then. So there's no point at all in order to use uh, that. And I'm almost done with Gears of War series. Like, just overall, just no real major improvements on there. Um, so when it comes down to it, there's almost nothing left uh, that they can keep me uh, going there anymore. So it's come down to the point now where there is nothing left and I have no reason to play on you know Xbox it's nothing more than an entertainment system now if I have family or friends and we want to switch from games to movies and co-op and play together that is it at that point everything else is straight up PC it's way easier for me to stream games make YouTube videos download all my clips straight to my computer be able to quickly edit it there's no more reason for me to play my Xbox anymore because of the fact that there's no more incentive for that they're they're bad service and all that stuff that I just mentioned and again they can't do anything about it because they can't charge you money to play on Windows 10 because if they do that then they will lose to every other competition that does not charge them to play uh, online um, the pay for subscription service fee so because of that there is no reason for them to uh, they, they can't do that it, if they uh, and then they have to either make Xbox free and if they do that then they completely lose you know all that stuff and they don't want to make that sacrifice so it's come down to the point where they're, they're kind of done at this point so that's the three reasons why I am just done with Xbox in their nonsense why they you know finally pushed me over the edge and i'm finally glad to hear that halo is coming to pc gears of wars on pc i am no there's no longer any incentive for me to play on an xbox other than when i'm going to play with friends and play cooperatively i'm glad and all these people that are trying to support this no after all the bad service i've been getting I am glad that I don't have to do that anymore. So that's going to wrap it up for me. Those are three major reasons. I'm sorry this video took 35 minutes to get all this down, but again, terrible Xbox Live support, hardware uh, um, advantages, and abuse of the reputation system. Until they can fix those three things, I am done paying for them and anything else. And when my Xbox Gold runs out, I am gratefully done. Anyways, comment down below what your opinions are and like this video. I'm sorry if it was a little long, but uh, give us a like if you want. Share it around. Let other people see it. And hopefully, maybe you guys can also like put down uh, what other bad experiences you have. But at this point, I am done and I am grateful of it. Uh, so again, I would love to hear your comments down below of your bad experiences, but at this point, I am done. I am completely done with their BS, and I am just going to be grateful to leave uh, after all this nonsense that's been going on and the fact that they've done nothing to assist me on any of these. And they say they'd listen, but they clearly don't. So maybe after this video, maybe if it goes big, maybe they'll actually start listening and actually address these things. The exclusivity had nothing to do with why I'm leaving uh these things were already going to be the reason why I was leaving. I was eventually even considering giving up on Halo and Gears of War entirely. If it hadn't been on PC, I would have given up on them anyways because I am just not playing uh, games anymore on Xbox when I'm going to have this kind of experience with 12-year-olds abusing the reputation system, people that can spend a lot of money on good hardware advantages, and the fact that I'm getting terrible Xbox Live support that does really literally nothing to assist me at all, and I just have to reset my Xbox back to factory default if I ever run into an issue so complicated that they can't figure it out and I have to do this even though back back in the day they could figure this out stuff for me all the time but now it's like I call in and they don't know what to do ever so I'm finally done with it and that's what I have to say about this anyways I'm done here I'm wrapping it up thank you all for watching I'm sorry it was lengthy I was trying to see if I could beat it uh, under 40 minutes but I had a lot to say anyways thank you all for watching uh, again rate comment subscribe have a great day and peace you take care bye